Hey guys, welcome back to a new vlog. Today's vlog is going to be a bit of a mesh of different activities. So in the first part of the vlog we have a rage room experience and then we have some stuff sort of in the middle and then the last part of the vlog is, is a Valentine's Day vlog. So I hope you all really enjoy this one. I'm just going to jump straight into it but I just wanted to quickly say if you enjoy this kind of content please hit the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. And without further ado, enjoy. <laughs> I've been driving this train Years in this lane There's no stopping this flame Cause I came to the game And I changed it to play How I like rearranged it To my own domain Yeah I got what it takes Made lots of mistakes Taking shots Skipping breaks Feeling like Starting the vlog off In a bathroom In Stoke-on-Trent train station But this morning We have made the journey From Wolverhampton To Stoke-on-Trent And then we're getting a train From Stoke-on-Trent To Stockport And it's a 15 minute walk From the train station And then we are going to Go do a rage room experience With a company called The Destroyed. Basically, you just get like given a bunch of stuff. You get to go smash up a bunch of like, I think it's like electronic technology, old furniture. Basically, people donate old stuff for you to smash it up, and you just let out a bunch of rage. You're given like protective equipment. I think like goggles, gloves, um, stuff like that. And I think you're allowed to film it as well. So hopefully, we can film it once we get there. Great popping off, singing straight, never stop, never changed. All the squad here to play, and I've got something to say. Yeah. This is. The rage room. Stand behind there. When someone else is um, letting their anger out, you stand behind the safety glass. Go on, Kate. Okay, give it some welly. Hold on. Get the hammer on it. Get the hammer on that one, Kate. <laughs> My arm. <laughs> it's hard work. Do we have a go? Yeah. This is such a workout. I'm actually out of breath, no joke. Kate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, smash D. <laughs> That tool. What? What's that tool called? I have no idea. It's so wrong. I okay. love technology. Oh, this is so it heavy. is heavy, isn't it? That is unbelievably heavy. This is so satisfying. <laughs> what makes me angry? Misogynists. <laughs> this is true. This is fun. Seriously, it does hurt your arm. I'm out of breath, man. Our yeah, arms are gonna be aching tomorrow. <laughs> what a look. Looking a sassy What fabulous. a look. <laughs> You've just not told I me that this is on my face. I can only see it down We've in just life. come out of the rage room and I've just been chatting to people. <laughs> <laughs> and this dirt all over my face. Is it on mine? No. Why is it on mine? Obviously, I've been touching my face and there's a bit on your nose. Mom, I can't be walking <laughs> <laughs> what a good mom, honestly. Oh, just, what did you see? Am I to you? Yeah, go on, I can wash you. <laughs> well, we've just come out of the rage room and it was it was honestly so much fun. Like it was hard work. Which idiot decided to wear white shoes for a rage room? Oh my god. They're Ralph Lewis as well, but you know it's Oh my god, man. If you come here, wear black shoes like Kerry. Every day I get lost in the words I say. I don't push pause, no, I push play. I won't stop till I make. So, we've just come to a little place in Stockport, Stockport called Barretto Lounge, and it's like this really, really nice restaurant, and it has a like really nice decor, and there are loads of vegan options for mom. Um, so, I've just ordered a burger. What did you have? Vegan BLT. A vegan BLT. Oh, I can't wait to go home and clean myself, <laughs> honestly. Look, it just feels like this dirt in all of my crevices. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is really nice. I'm very excited. Got a Beyond Meat burger on the way, with some cheese, fries. Oh, you're having a burger sandwich. We're on the train home now, back from Stockport to Wolverhampton, where lovely Nicholas is going to be picking us up. Just had this as a little, 
I guess this is dinner. Yeah, so this is my dinner tonight, white chocolate multi that's very beautiful, very sickening, very delicious. We're both very tired, we both just want to go home, have a little bath because my feet look absolutely disgusting from the rage room. So you go back Friday? That's a good evening, that's, that's a really nice angle. Do you think? You do not understand the ordeal I just had. Fuck this car, that did not go well. Oh my god. But hey, hey guys, it's the next day. I just thought I would update you all because my body today is in so much pain. Seriously, it genuinely feels like I've done a full body workout just from going to the rage room yesterday. My arms are killing, my back's killing, my neck is hurting for some reason. I'm not really sure how how that works, but um, but it is 100% worth it. I think just as like a little in case anyone had like a question about the price or anything, Nick got it for me and my mom as a virgin well he just got it for me as a virgin experience day thing and i think it cost 25 pounds per person so i'm pretty sure it was 50 pounds i had a look on the virgin experience um site and it's 100 percent worth it and it, we went with a company called destroyed rage rooms and they have a couple different locations dotted in the uk we went to stockport obviously but i think they have one in like um northampton corby uh, customer service was like nice as well so yeah i would 100 percent recommend it but I'm going to get on, film another video, and then I may see you guys later because I think I might vlog some of my weekend as well. But we will see. Quick side note before I go. This is the iced French vanilla from Tim's and it's fabulous. I got it with oat milk though because I always have alternative milks. So like, I never want to drink cow's milk in coffee. Like I will eat chocolate with like milk in there. But like when it comes to like actual coffee, it's got to be an alternative milk. Nick and I finally went to watch the new Spider-Man last night. Is it even the new Spider-Man now? Because, and I even still refer to it as new because it's actually been out for so long now. But we went to go watch No Way Home. And I haven't seen the Spider-Man before this one. So the second Tom Holland Spider-Man movie. But we watched the first one um, a couple weeks ago. And I have yet to watch the second one. So I'm going to watch that look pretty soon. And it's made me want to go back and rewatch all of the Spider-Mans. Like the Tobey Maguire, Andrew Garfield. Like do the whole thing. And also just go through and binge watch all of the Marvel films like we checked. I think there's like 27. But I think I'm going to start watching them from the beginning because I feel like I've probably seen... I've probably not seen about four or five of them and I just want to watch them again in order and like fully understand the universe. In the Marvel Cinematic Universe, not the universe as we know it. Um, but the film was honestly excellent. It was really, really good. I fully see what everyone was raving about it. Like it was... It was an incredible movie. Like I cried, I laughed. There was a lot of emotions. Tom Holland is amazing in it. Zendaya is amazing in it. Like the entire cast are phenomenal. They must have really pumped some money into these films because like action scenes and the cinematography were intense. They were insane. I do actually really like the Marvel films. I just think I haven't watched them very often. Like I feel like I've seen the majority of the films, but I've only seen them like once or twice. So like maybe I don't remember some of the details as well as I should. Like Nick was explaining to me the other night exactly how the blip worked because. I kind of knew, but I kind of didn't understand some elements of it, so he's kind of explaining that to me on the way home. But I'm going to try and like re-watch them all, I think. We've just been uh, re-watching all the Harry Potter films, and I've also been re-watching uh, the Divergent films, so Divergent, Allegiant, and... <sighs> I cannot remember what the other one is. I really enjoyed those. Like, I actually really like Shailene Woodley as a actress i think she's really cool and obviously my boy miles teller is in it and he's great even though he doesn't really have like a huge part in the uh, divergent films i've also been re-watching the twilight films with my mom now okay so i watched twilight films years ago never been a huge fan like i thought they were cool like interesting but like i think maybe all the like jokes and like the mocking of twilight online has kind of gotten to me a little bit right but i rewatched it with my mom recently because my mom really liked the films and honestly i really enjoyed the films like, i feel like i misremembered that they were bad like i don't know like i really enjoyed them like i'd be kind of like interested to like read the books also being rewatching the hunger games i I've had a similar experience here with Twilight because I feel like I watched The Hunger Games I was like, yeah, 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 kind of cool, like, not amazing. But now I've rewatched them again and I'm like, oh my god, how did I ever think this was not incredible? Because The Hunger Games is, like, fantastic. Like, 
it's kind of like a political allegory as well so jennifer lawrence exquisite uh, i really want to go watch the new scream as well look i feel like there's so many films and so little free time to watch all these films oh honestly first world problems for valentine's day this year we've decided to do it like kind of minimal because basically we have our one year anniversary two weeks after valentine's day and then it's my birthday next month and then obviously it's kind of close to christmas as well um just gone so we've decided that for like valentine's day we can only me and nick can only buy each other gifts that are kind of like not like expensive gifts just like little gifts like chocolate that's the kind of like thing we're doing for valentine's day so like little chocolatey gifts and for our anniversary we're going to each buy each other one gift and that could be anything i've got him like basically just like a lot of chocolate so i got him this little what is this is it thornton it's a little thornton's wine bottle just saying love you nick and then i've got him another little like thornton's plaque saying happy valentine's day got him some milk chocolate cookie dough bites amazing the milk chocolate honeycomb and the caramel filled buttons all from m s or delicious and some sherbet lemons because he really likes sherbet lemons and obviously it's a nice little harry potter reference I tried either of these i'm not sure if he has either so i thought i'd get him those because i think he would like those just got him some salted caramel m ms because they're some of his favorites also got him these like perfect match match sticks which is basically like i think it's white chocolate um yeah it looks like that and i got these from m s because they've got like a valentine's day range and it's caramelized white chocolate decorated with edible decorations and it looks like matchsticks but they're obviously just like edible and valentine's day themed so i thought they were quite cute got him some aero chocolate mini eggs because he loves aero a white terry's because terry chocolate orange and white incredible picked up these as well which i think are it's kind of like pocky but it's not actually branded like that but it's white cookie sort of like chocolate sticks which I thought looked really nice and interesting and he's, I don't think he's tried those before and then I just picked up some slabs of chocolate as well so we've got a little mini egg slab a dream bar slab which oh these are so nice got this Cadbury's Dairy Milk Neapolitan chocolate which I haven't tried I don't think he's tried either I'm sure he mentioned that he wanted to try it um and then just this chocolate drumstick thing because I don't think we've either of us have tried it and this Frere Rocher white hazelnut bar this is like the nicest bar I've ever had in my entire life. So I got him this cute little Yoda themed card saying baby Yoda won for me, which I thought was quite funny. Now that I have it all laid out, it looks like a lot of chocolate. Probably it is quite a lot of chocolate to be fair, but when that's all we're allowed to get each other. Happy Valentine's Day guys. Well, it's not actually Valentine's Day. It's the day before Valentine's is the 13th. And Nick and I are celebrating Valentine's Day because Valentine's is on Monday and we want to have like a meal and everything. We just thought to give us more time, we'd do it on like the Sunday because obviously we're at work on the Monday. Basically for Valentine's last year, Nick cooked for me. He made like some really, really nice food for me. And I am the worst chef, like literally the worst chef. And he wanted me to cook for him this year. So what we've decided to do is basically I'm cooking for Nick, but I'm doing the most basic stuff ever. Like I will show you what I'm going to make. But basically we're doing like nachos for a starter. For the main, we're doing like burgers, fries, onion rings. And then for the dessert, we're doing a peanut butter cheesecake. And the peanut butter cheesecake I made yesterday, I think it has turned out well. Like it looks good. It smells good. I've tried a little bit of it and I think it tastes nice. So I will be showing you all this food. But I've just put a little table out in the living room. Nick is going to come around in a second. So this is the top I'm wearing. I literally got it from New Look. Like... I'm going to say like four or five years ago, but it's so cute and Valentine's Day. Obviously, I had to wear something that was red. It's a cute little peplum number. And then on the bottom, I don't know how I'm going to show you this. I have some really nice leather look jeans on and I'm obsessed. I love leather jeans. They are so, so nice. Like I know Valentine's is just a holiday to basically get you to spend more money and it doesn't really actually like mean too much but i think it's nice to celebrate everything where you can like if you can celebrate things like why not make a big event out of everything and just have fun with it do you know what i mean so let me show you the little setup as well. we've got the tv on in the background just playing some like romantic love songs and stuff but basically this table was outside we brought it in cleaned it up put it in the living room we don't actually have the right chairs well we don't really have chairs that we could use to like put around this little table so i've just got my desk chair and a little poof um we've just put some little like cute heart plates on the table some little like heart um like decorative pieces i'm going oh i need to light that candle actually but i just thought this was kind of cute like making a little bit of effort i've laid out his valentine's gifts here i've shown you all already it's literally all just chocolate because that's exactly what we said that we were going to do this year i just wanted to show you the peanut butter cheesecake because it looks 
divine like that is that is a big portion of of cheesecake like we have one each um these are just like a bunch of <laughs> condiments that i pull out um to make it look all cutesy um and i'll put those in the table in a second but look how good this looks it's got peanut butter drizzled on the top peanut butter cup cut up in there oh it just looks insane like i'm so excited to eat this we got some burgers we got some fries we got some onion rings we got some dips we got good so nick's just left i am so full of food I actually cannot breathe. Like, we couldn't even finish half of the cheesecake. It was good, though. It was good. I'm happy because it turned out well. Like, it tasted good. I was happy with it. But the boy has stocked me up on chocolate. He said he's got one more little thing for me, but he's going to give me that tomorrow because it's on actual Valentine's Day and it's not something that's edible. It's just something that he thinks that I would find is cute. So I'm intrigued to see what that is. Um, But he liked all the food, so I'm happy. And I'm going to show you the now chocolate haul that I have. It's just insane, honestly. Like, ugh, my chocolate drawer is going to be stacked up. These ones, I'm very excited for. The white lint and the salted caramel lint. Like, that stuff is heavenly. And, like, these little bits from M&S. Like, oh, it looks so good. I'm very excited. And he bought it in, like, the cutest little bag. This says, you cutie. I think that's really, really cute. But, yeah, how adorable. Oh, successful Valentine's Day celebrations, I would say. We ended up having like a really big discussion about like Russia and like Ukraine and like prisoners of war and basically talking about conflict between different countries. It was like really interesting, classic Valentine's chat. But now I think I'm gonna go have a little bath. I might go for a walk as well because I haven't actually left the house today yet, which I should probably do. And then I'll probably just see Nick later. We're watching Euphoria at the moment and we're both loving it, so we're gonna watch some new Euphoria as well. But I am obsessed with Euphoria at the moment. I'm still on like we're still quite early, and so like no spoilers, please. But like loving it so far. Yeah. Like, oh, 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 oh,